WWDC is just a couple of weeks away and we're expecting a ton of new features for iOS 18 and perhaps the most unexpected new feature to be rumored recently is that Apple is apparently allowing for more customization of the iPhone's home screen according to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman. Gurman claimed that Apple will allow users to change the color of app icons in iOS 18. So for example, you can make all of your social icons blue or finance related ones green and so on and so forth. And this kind of home screen customization is technically currently possible by creating single action shortcuts with a custom icon that serve to launch an app. And you have to do this for each individual app and it kind of launches funky and it's not ideal. Gurman also corroborated previous reports that iOS 18 will also allow users to place apps anywhere on the home screen's grid. This will enable users to arrange icons more freely. Honestly, this is all kind of huge news that I know Android users out there will have a field day with because yes, it's been something that you could do on Android since forever, but for us here in iOS land, home screen customization is a fairly new thing. And I feel like just recently I was having a conversation with my co-host on the Mac Rumor Show. If you haven't already, go check out and follow the podcast. But this level of customization for the home screen was something that we were still very skeptical about. And even hearing about it now, it still seems like it's just too good to be true. Now I'm curious to know what you all think about this. Is this something that just us tech nerds only care about? Would you even actually want something like this for your phone? Would you take advantage of it? Let me know in the comments down below. There's also a list of other rumored features that Apple could be bringing in iOS 18. And we don't have a ton of details about each one, but uh, we're expecting things like photo retouching, which I would hope is something close to what Google offers with its magic editor capabilities. Voice memo transcription is another one, uh, suggested replies, to emails and messages. Uh, this next one is really intriguing and that's auto-generated emojis based on the content of a user's messages, providing all new emoji for any occasion beyond the existing catalog, which just seems like your phone's just gonna be randomly creating you emojis to go along with whatever you're talking about, which seems kind of cool. We can also expect some search improvements to Safari web search and more faster and reliable spotlight searches. Uh, users can also expect some big updates to Siri, like more natural interactions with Siri. And also a weird one that we have not talked about, a more advanced version of Siri designed for the Apple Watch that will be optimized for on-the-go tasks. And lastly, another rumored feature for iOS 18 is smart recaps of missed notifications and individual messages, web pages, news articles, documents, notes, and so much more. And I'm guessing a lot of this is gonna be done with the help of AI and with AI being the hot buzzword for this year's updates, I really can't wait to see how it's integrated for these rumored features and whatever else Apple has planned for us on June 10th at WWDC. Will we finally be getting a Siri chatbot? You know, there's been conversations about open AI and chat GPT uh, coming over to iOS in some way or another, I don't know. But of course, I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. What are you hoping to see in iOS 18 this year? Go ahead and let us know down in those comments. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.